Mae brwydr a jyn cwt a dy gwyddodd chwech an mlynedd yn ôl a mysg y brwydrau yn wocaf oll. Mae stori byddin fach lloegr yn trechu byddin fwy o lawer o Ffrainc wedi taro tant drwy'r canrifoedd a chafodd ei hanfarwoli yn araith diwnod Sant Crispin yn Henry V gan Shakespeare. From this day to the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Roedd y band o frodyr yn cynnwys nifer sylweddol o saethyddion o Gymru. Llawer ohonynt o Sir Fynwy, a fi'n bwysig iawn o'r sicrhau buddigoliaeth Harry, gan deithio ar hyd afon gwy, a minodd carfan o fforest y ddena, a'r saethyddion wrth iddynt deithio tuag at Ffrainc. The archers here are critical to everything that I do. I have Welsh archers, Cheshire archers, and they will prove their mettle against the French chivalry. I do not know what they are waiting for. Disgrifiwyd y bwa hir a ddefnyddiwyd gan ganoedd o saethyddion o Gymru ar faes y gad fel peiriandrill ar oesoedd canol. Gallai'r arfau nelthor hyn anfon saethau hyd at ddau gan chwedeg meter. Hyd yn oed nawr, mae'n rhoi'r dychmygu pa mor frawachus fyddai wynebu storm o'r arfau hyn. If you look here, you'll see the arrows that they were using. You've got the broadhead arrow. These shot into French horses drive them wild with pain and make them uncontrollable. These large numbers of these would be shot uh, at a range of around 200 yards and would do an awful lot of damage. But against fully armored French knights, it was these, the bodkin arrows. This is your original armor piercing technology. We have a needle bodkin. These were designed to go through mail. The chisel bodkins, these were designed and came later, particularly around the time of Agincourt, and their design is solely to puncture through plate armor. And at a range of under 70 yards, they're quite capable of doing this. Awful lot of damage can be done with these. The archers at Agincourt contributed hugely to the battle. They were the deciding factor around about 5,000 of them, and it was their actions during the day created this huge arrow storm. The French were goaded to advancing on to the English lines. They surged forward and were shot to pieces. The mud of the battlefield also contributed greatly to the French losses. And even when the archers had stopped using their bows with the captured French knights. It was the archers who murdered and butchered them on Henry V's order. On the narrow muddy Ar faes y gard cil mudlid a jyn cwt, saethyddion harri oedd y ffactor bennaf wrth drechu byddin Ffrainc. Er bod llawer o straeon hanesyddol yn canolbwyntio ar ochestion y marchogion ar uchelwyr, cafodd brwydr a jyn cwt eu statws chwedlanol o herwydd y saethyddion isel eu tras a sicrhaedd fuddigoliaeth er gweitha pawb a phobeth.